Hi, thanks for joining us. In this video, let's look at two of the most powerful ways to present an Infrarx 360 model. One, by going for a drive through a model, and second, by going through a flight. We'll also put a watermark on top of your model so everyone knows what good work you've done. First, let's jump to the presentation tools and then to the watermark tool on the left. Here, I can use any image as a watermark on top of my model. I'm going to browse to a standard Autodesk logo and place it in the bottom right of my scene. Now, you can have more than one watermark. So if you want to put your logo, a developer's logo, a architect or a, a, another partner's logo on your model, you can do that very simply. Once you've got a model watermarked, let's go for a drive. We can use the storyboard tool and then create from design road. And you can simply pick a design road to go for a drive. Now you'll see a dialog to create a camera path and you can modify the horizontal and vertical offsets. But I like to just start with the default settings and then take a look at what's prepared. Now you'll notice we're driving down the very center of the road and we're pretty low relative to the ground. So I'm going to select that piece on the storyboard and delete it. Then I'll create another drive through using the same design route, but this time I'll add some offset horizontally, vertically, and then also to the camera's focus point. This gives it a view of more like you're actually driving down that street. There. Now that's a much better drive through. The other option we have for presenting our models using Infrarx 360 is to actually fly in like Superman over the scene. And we can do this using the storyboard, but instead of creating a path from the design road, we create it from a camera path animation. You start by placing your camera where you want to start the movie and then simply navigate to the next critical point and click the plus sign. You can also adjust how long you want it to take to get from one critical point to another. In this case, I'll slow it down to take about 12 seconds. That creates more of a slow uh, camera transition, more like you're flying in with a helicopter or a drone. If you go too fast, you'll find that many of these movies make you sort of seasick. Zoom in on the next point, and then again, on your storyboard, just click the plus sign to add another keyframe. If you get them out of order, it, it's okay. Just pick on the keyframe, delete it, and then make sure you pick on the keyframe you want to follow, then click the plus sign. With that in place, you can press play and you'll see the effect that you've created based on these keyframes. If you want to watch the transition a little more closely, you can grab the glyph in the timeline and slide it back and forth to see how your camera will be moving throughout the process. Really simple, very powerful, and because it takes almost no time at all to create one of these movies, you can do multiple different options and then make a decision when it's all said and done. Once you have an animation or a fly through that you like, you simply output it using the record button on the storyboard control. On the far right, click the export button and then pick a encoder to use. I like to use the MJPEG for small size but decent quality. That creates a video, stores on your desktop, and then you can either edit it or just share it directly for people to review your project. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the Infrarx 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make Infrarx 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.